Let's take a look at zooming on the HP 49G. Our first one we'll take a look at is y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6. Well, first thing we need to do is I'll press apps, and we'll go into plot functions, so I'll do enter on that. And we want to go into the equation editor, so I'll do enter on that. And um, I already have mine here. Yours might say add. If it says add, then you choose add. Um, you do F2, but I'm going to do edit, so I'll do F1. I'm going to do a backspace to get rid of those. There we go. And I'll show you uh, typing in from scratch. I had to practice a little bit with this because I'm not real comfortable with HP49G. Okay, so I'm going to do my X key, and then I'm going to do my Y to the X and get in the exponent mode. Squared. I'll do my right arrow key to get out of the exponent. Minus 5X plus 6, and then an enter. Okay. Now if I do draw, press F6, then we get this. And we see it goes down a little bit below the x-axis and goes back up. And maybe we're wondering a little bit more precise what's happening here. Well, you see zoom here? You push a button below it, which is F1. And let's take a look at zoom in first. Zoom in, the button below it is F3, so I press F3. And it does what you might expect. It zooms in zoom this, as soon as it comes back. And we just get a little bit of it up here now. Um, if I pressed F1, I could choose zoom in again, and it would zoom in yet again. Now, it automatically adjusts your tick marks um, to the va value, so you can't really tell it, except for your graph seems to be disappearing. Um, now, to go the other direction, if I press my F1 for zoom, and then choose zoom out, that's F4. And they're zooming out one time. Slow but sure. There it is. Now if I choose F1, zoom again, and I choose zoom out, F4. I see it zooming out uh, one more time. Now I could even do it again. You can do it as many times as you want. Well, there is a limit. It gives you an error after a while. Um, but if I choose zoom out again, little hourglass is going up there. That's how I know it's working. Sit there and wait and wait. Looks like that. That's a zoom in and zoom out. We'll look at zoom out a little bit more with the next problem. Um, but let's look at another one here. I'm under the zoom. I press F1. And you see the one over the far right says ZDFLT. That's zoom default. So if I press F6, that puts it back to the default setting. Which looks like that. Okay, now let's look at the zoom box. So I'll go back to F1 for zoom. And you see the one that says box Z, box zoom. I do F2. And let me cancel that. I'll do F5. What you have to do first, I should have done this, is you need to put your cursor where you want the upper left-hand part of your box to be. So I'll have it right there. Now let me choose a box zoom. So I'll do F2. And now if you do your down arrow key and you do your right arrow key, it'll draw your box. It took me a while to get that down where you had to position your cursor first. I'm used to the, T the Texas Instruments where you, you um, after you go into the zoom box, you can set your first point. But this you have to put your cursor first and then, then do it. Now once I get it down to this end, you just press your zoom, which is your F6, and that'll zoom in just what your box was around. Very nice feature. It gives you total control over the zooming. Uh, so there's no question on what it's going to zoom in on. You told it exactly. Now you can even do it more. If I want to do zoom box again, again the key is move your cursor wherever you want your upper left hand part of your box to be. Let's say right there. And then I'll do the button right below zoom, which is F1. Choose uh, box zoom, F2. And uh, let's start drawing this. I'm holding down. You don't have to sit there and keep clicking it. Once I get over to here, then I press uh, zoom, which is the F6. And that will zoom in on just what I had my box around. Now the tick marks keep changing. 
Uh, this one should pass through two and three, but uh, it doesn't look like it's exactly on the tick mark. But again, the, the tick marks will change on these. Now I'll go back to zoom, so I do F1, and I want to choose zoom default, so I do F6. Okay, let's look at our last one here. Y is equal to X squared minus 400. Well, if I um, cancel out of this, so I do F6. And remember, we should always do an erase, so I do an F5 to erase it. Then I'm going to do an edit, F1 backspace. I could leave the x squared there, but I'm going to type it in from scratch. So I'm going to have my x key, the y to the x, squared, and I'll do my right arrow key to get out of the exponent mode, minus 400, and press enter. Then I go to draw, so I do F6. Now I have to watch a little hourglass. So the hourglass is going, hourglass is gone, and but I don't see a graph. Well, that might be an indication you need to zoom out. So I'm going to do zoom. So I'll press F1. And here's Z out, so I'm going to do F4. And there zooms out one time. Probably won't be enough. Uh, okay, I lie. Looks like it was enough to get it on there. Now after you've done zoomed out, you can, com you can combine this with another zoom. So if I do F1, I can... Well, I want to do bo zoom box, but um, probably need to move my cursor first. Because remember, you have to position this in the upper left-hand corner. Let's say I'm trying to look at the x-intercepts. So that would be the upper left-hand corner of my box. Okay, then I'm going to choose box Z, so I'll do F2 for box zoom. And I'll do my down arrow key, and I'll pull down the right arrow key and take it over here. Get over to that side, and then zooms right here, and I do F6 right below it. And that'll zoom in on just what I drew the box around, which is my x-intercepts. And so I can see those a little bit more clear. Um, now, if I wanted to put that back to where it was, I do zoom F1, and I want you to zoom default, which is F6. Okay. Once this comes up, I'm going to cancel out of it. So I'll cancel. F6. Now I'm going to do an F5 to erase. Now, um, you see above here it says Y equals win, graph, 2D, 3D, table set, table. Uh, win. If I do the purple button and the F2. Now you cannot do this all the time. You can't be uh, have your graph showing and go into this. But then this talks about the horizontal view and the vertical view. So horizontal view, I could set this as uh, negative 40. So I could do negative 40. And um, I have to do enter. Let me try enter. And I'll change this to positive 40. And enter. Now the vertical view, vertical's up and down. Um, let me change that to negative 500. Enter. And then this I'll put as 100, the maximum. So I should go from negative 40 to 40 on my x-axis and negative 500 to 100 on my y-axis. Um, probably don't need to change any of those. Um, looks like I can go directly to draw here. So I do F6. And there we see our graph. Now what we did is this leftmost tick mark is negative 40, and rightmost is positive 40. And it goes by tens. Is it tens? Yeah. Unless I meant... No, I did. I did. Never mind. I'm confusing with another calculator. <laughs> but this is negative 40 over here and positive 40 over here. What would it be going by? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have no clue what this was. No? Hmm. And then clear down here is negative 500, and clear up here is 100. I'm not sure about these tick marks, um, what it what it's uh, putting those at. Um, why did I do so so low? Well, x squared minus 400, remember when there's a number at the end, that means that it's shifting up or down. Negative 400 means it's shifted down 400 units. That's why I went down to negative 500 and went up to 100. Um, I had a pretty good idea from 
working with this uh, problem that my x-intercepts were negative 20 and positive 20. That's why I went from negative 40 to positive 40. Now again, you do zoom, you press F1, and then zoom default F6. That'll set it back to your, your default. If you ever screw up your zoom or screw up your window settings, if you zoom default, I'll set it back to back to where where it started. Now I'll do an F6 to cancel out of that, and um, looks like I can um, go back to the y equals by doing purple F1. That gets you back here, and um, so forth. And if I click on, that'll get me out of that. So that's how you zoom on HB49G.